Well, I'm going to wake uh, Sleeping Beauty here, but uh, it needs some sharp tools. And I'll show you what I do for finishing tools uh, on a Monarch 10 double Get this on hot here. Okay. Now what I use for uh, finish tools is Micro 100. Now these are, uh, a, this is an AR8 half inch shank. And here's uh, a 3 8 shank. And uh, you can buy these uh, from Pen Tool Company. And the half inch ones are about 20 bucks a piece. But I wanted to show that uh, I think these are five bucks less, about 15 bucks each. But they got the same piece of carbide on them. <laughs> okay. Now, what I do with these, now you can inspect these just like I did the boring bar. And they're easier to inspect. Um, but they have, uh, similar to the boring bar, they have five degrees um, side rake here, okay? And what I do is I add about two more degrees back rake, or two degrees back rake, because it has zero back rake like the boring bar, just about five degrees side rake, zero uh, back rake. So... <clears throat> Excuse me. I add a couple of degrees back rake and it gives the tool a little bit more of a high shear. Just a little bit more of a bite. But that works within the parameters of um, what we're going to do on this particular machine here. Okay. So these two here are dull. So um, let's get them over to the cutter grinder, and I'll show you the simple method I use to sharpen these. Okay, here we go. Now over here, get rid of this thing. Move on over here. And let's see, let's set those things right down there. And uh, I'm going to put you <laughs> up here. Let's see how that works. Should work okay. There you are. Okay. Okay. Now to sharpen these tools, I just grind them back. You know, if, if this one's dull, I polish the tops first so I can kind of see. We'll put that in there. And it's got like um, about seven degrees. Um, clearance on the front so I, I i maintain that about the same okay this is a really simple way of putting this in there let's get this thing see if i can juggle it all together okay just to you know to line it up right there that's all i do and that's good enough right there real good And for me to see a little bit, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. I'm going to put a little bit of uh, uh, ink on the front there so I can kind of see it. There we go. And generally what I do is grind it back um, five thousandths. And uh, sometimes um, if it's hard for me to see, I think I can see it okay. Um, I use these, you know, that's a set of, uh, uh, you know, uh, dental glasses, about two and a half uh, magnification, about an uh, 18 inch focal distance. Very nice. But no, I, I'm going to try to do it without them right now. Okay, here we go. Fire up this antique. <laughs>
Don't have to get too fancy here. I'll roll that back a little bit. That's good enough. Okay. Here we go again. is I put a nose radius on it that is very, very small. And uh, I can pretty much do it by eye, but I can use this SPI magnifier. And I generally put just about, not more than a 10 thousandths radius. If that. So, I do that by hand because it's too hard to set up the machine to, to uh, do such a small radius. And so it's really easy, you just uh, like this. You can feel it. Now, this is a really worn, easy lap. This is a brand new Easy Lap. When they get really worn like this, um, they're just really nice for doing this. And I can feel that tip digging in. I bet you're expecting me to do something really fancy with the tool and gutter grinder here for this. But I do it by hand. Okay, then I inspect it with, with like this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> looks pretty good. Get that right on there. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah. It's, it's good. It's good. And see, it'll shave your fingernail. That's kind of how I tell uh, if a tool is, is really, if a tool gets dull, it won't shave or scratch your fingernail. So I'll do the next one.
just like that. So simple. See? Nothing fancy. Okay, let's see where we're at here. <clears throat> well, wrong knob, get this knob. And there we go. Well, that's about enough for right now. And uh, we'll talk a little bit more uh, when we apply these things. Thanks for taking a look.